welcome to the sam charlie show this is monday afternoon and i'm here to talk about a specific term called freedom now freedom could be relative to a different people the time i feel freedom was when i was graduated from my university the day i didn't go to the school man i felt of freedom now as i said the freedom could be little bit relative the person who might be looking for a retirement maybe in the age of 65 70 that could be a freedom for them right now for a board in a case maybe being out of that case could be a freedom for some people not going to the work on that day or a weekend is a freedom i met a guy on the weekend and he said he don't want to go to the work on monday he don't like to going to the work on monday and he thinks the weekend is his freedom now we're going to see what is freedom in a dictionary term okay what is a freedom in a dictionary term and then we're going to again go on the different things today we're going to mostly go on the things what is a entrepreneurial freedom now on the dictionary term the freedom is right to act speak or think on the way you want the way you want without hindrance or restriction okay absence of any subjection to foreign domination right or state of not being in prison or enslaved and this is directly from the dictionary oxford dictionary from the google okay and today specifically i want to talk about the freedom now the time i started my business back in 2019 that was my freedom and man i didn't want to go to the work and not going to the work or that monday afternoon sorry the friday afternoon coming to your vehicle sitting in your car and driving home was my freedom i felt really free at that time because there comes the friday and the weekend you know so i really felt man if i could just work for a business or start my own business and nevertheless i started business in 2019 and i'm sure by now you know that now there are different benefits if you start a freedom you can have your own schedule you can have your own time now tomorrow i'm driving my wife to a clinic you know and it is little bit far because it is on the other side of the city and she can't drive by herself if i had not had a business i had to take a leave or she had to schedule some other day where i could take a day off okay so driving to her to the clinic is a freedom for me and for my family okay because i don't have to take a day off i don't have to say my boss ask my boss i don't have to send a notice to anyone i'm not scared at that time man i'm out of the work or i'm not being present at the work i don't have that feeling now the first thing that brings being an entrepreneur is a freedom and the first thing that it brings is a financial freedom and it can be a rewarding okay it can have a really high potential and other thing is if you have a good business it is a good source of income and ultimately can give you a financial freedom to live a life in your own way right you work few years really hard works for few years in a business and then what you can live your life in your own term you can hire a couple of people make them work tell them how to work teach them show them and maybe go to work maybe 8 hours or 6 hours or you can work like 10 hours okay these days i really work hard because i'm trying to take my business to the next level and i never feel even though i work so hard in my business i never feel man i'm working okay sometimes i feel man is it too much to work but it never the mind mind my, my body never says man you have worked more it always says man you can always do more so i always come to the work and work on my business for my business in my business whatever okay one is the financial freedom other is obviously the time freedom you can have your own schedule as an entrepreneur you have a flexibility to set your own schedule 
and work whenever you want. I don't really need to go through this, but the time freedom is one of the biggest freedom you can have as a entrepreneur. You can work at night, morning, evening, afternoon on your own time. But in the beginning, it is really important that you work hard and make it possible. Okay, if your business fails, everything fails your financial dream your dream for the time or creative whatever everything fails so you gotta work really hard in the beginning but if you work for a few years maybe four or five years in the business man you are set for the life okay and the other is the creative freedom because if you are a entrepreneur you have a freedom to try new things, explore new ideas, and also pursue your passion. Now you might want to work something, a project in the business, or you wanna bring that project to the business, you can do that because it's your business. Okay, you wanna reach to the customer, you can do that. You can talk to the customer, you can do that. You don't wanna talk to the customer, guess what, you can do that. So you have that freedom creative freedom okay you can create your own freedom other is the autonomy now on autonomy guess what you are your own boss means that if you want to take your business to the different direction man i don't like the way the business is going i want to go to the different direction fine you can do that okay and other is you can have your own projects as i said you can have your own projects like man i want to take that project because the there is more rewarding in that project i like the clients where they treat to your business treat to your people you want to take that project maybe some projects are man these people are mean i don't want to work with them you don't have to work with them okay but if you go to the wall your manager your team lead your supervisor assigns work to you Sam, you gotta do this work. Jerry, you gotta do this work. And guess what? You have to do that work. Otherwise, the only option is either you find a new job or you start your own business, okay? Either way, I wanna talk about the freedom. Freedom of the work, freedom of the financial, freedom of the time. Other is personal fulfillment. As I said, other biggest thing is the personal fulfillment because now, if you start your own business, you have that satisfaction because as I said, there is no burden. Even though I work, let's say someday I work 12 hours, someday I work 10 hours, someday I don't even work. Yesterday I didn't come to the work and guess what? Nobody said anything. And maybe tomorrow I won't be working half of the day because I'm driving my wife to the clinic, okay, to the doctor clinic and nobody gonna say, man, why didn't you work? Because it's my business. Having said that, man, all the time I really work hard. You don't wanna, as I said in the beginning, be out of the work or you wanna work really hard in the beginning. And other is once you have made in the business, you can contribute to your community, positive things, okay? Not the bad things, positive things in the community. You can create jobs and you can contribute positive in the society. As I said, entrepreneur is really fulfilling if you can make the business work. Once you do that, you have that freedom. And in the beginning, I said, I might give you some tips. Now, I have been doing online business since 2019. And I post all these things on my YouTube. And guys, if you haven't subscribed, you gotta subscribe. But the business I wanna say is on the online side. Now, there are different business you can start. You can start a affiliate business, or influencer business, you can start a drop shipping, you can start a Amazon business, you can start a eBay or a Etsy business, you can start a digital marketing business. And out of all these, out of all these, okay, you need a fundamental. You need to you need to build your knowledge on the fundamental. You can start any of these business without even knowing what is the fundamental, and you can learn along the way, but I had to learn the hard way, so I always suggest that you start with digital marketing. Okay, you start with some copywriting, we start with some 
video editing, you start with the website design, you start with email marketing, you start with content writing, start with SEO, you start with blogging, you help other people to write ads, to run ads, you learn how to plug into all the APIs with a different platform with the Shopify and other maybe convert kit or there are so many APIs. So if you learn all these things, running ads and building a funnel, building a landing page, that would really help in all these areas. Okay, what is a phrase matching? What is a broad matching? What is a direct matching? If you learn all these things, this will help not only on Shopify or on Facebook or Google, it will also help you on Etsy or on eBay or on Amazon. So make sure that you have that fundamental. For that reason, guys, I have put the free digital marketing course. You can get that course going to the chalishuniversity.com www.chalishuniversity.com you will see that free digital marketing course i don't really need to tell the whole link whole url but you can find once you go to the chalish university you can sign up as i said the biggest freedom i had and regardless of which job i worked i really feel that i had not achieved my freedom and once i started my own business once the business started making money i feel i have that freedom okay now i still need to grow having said that but i feel i i am a little bit free i am i don't have to reply anything let me know the session we tossed today i think it is an interesting topic i find this is an interesting topic i hope you find this topic really interesting if you did let me know in the comment if you are looking to start any business let me know in the comment and I'll see you again tomorrow.